Hey YouTubers, it is Gizzy Greenfingers here and in front of you is my corkscrew willow aka weeping willow which by now you should all be very very um you should all know it you know what I mean um and why am I doing another video as Brenda would say from Bristol not another one it is another one um two reasons I just want to show it now it's starting to lose its leaves because you can start to get an idea of how sexy that looks with that top branch I'm loving what I've done with this that one may go yet don't rightly know but I don't know yet not be nice to get rid of that one but until it loses all its leaves I'm not I'm not gonna do a lot um the other reason I've done this video is because I've had a lot of dye back and I have had to get rid of Z branches and he's cutting them up not cutting big bits off but I believe this branch here, I think that is going to die come winter and when it gets really harsh because we're in November at the moment and we haven't really had a cold winter or, or anything yet let's just get a bit more of that on the situation but I can sort of tell by the colour it goes and oh, the camera's crap but this, see that looks nice, that looks good but it's this colour and you can see probably why that would probably die. Sorry, it sounds free at the moment. But that is why. Because I'm not saying it's going to die, but I think it will. And then I look at it and I think, well, the, the tree's trying to tell me. You don't want a branch there. So if you got rid of that whole branch, that whole section that I'm on about, you've got this new top to make up for that branch so if that branch has disappeared all this new growth on this top will cascade down let's just get that out of that view I bloody hate that view not the best lighting let me let me change my light I'll be back in a sec right so I don't know if that's any better or worse it'll be bloody worse and um we persevere that is crap and I need to get a better light. I need some money. I pay my taxes, so I, I can't buy a new light yet. Um, yeah, this branch here. See, I was in. I was even in two minds just to get rid of that whole branch. Because if you didn't have that, you'll have all these that will get wired down again to control that. Same that one, that'll be wired up over like that for that section. And that, I just think that is going to die. And do I cut it now? And have this as that new, that new bit. Because this bit here is looking, looking great. I like how all that is starting to weep after years of wiring but that is starting to do the job same with these sections the lighting is shite isn't it I know well there we have it that isn't a bad view is it you've got a lighting right there but when it loses all its leaves you'll see the the true branch structure that I've started to create but then I will have to wire it down but obviously not all the way up the top it'll just be little wires and then when it's lost all its leaves it, <clears throat> it'll be a lot easier for me to wire and it gives me something to do in the winter as well because it's boring isn't it it's boring there's no it's nothing. Oh yeah, I 
go down like that. But yeah, I'm happy with like all these branches. They all look good. They're all keeping their shape, so they will get wired down. I have to cut a branch off here. It's just how it how it. See when it grows, it like grow and then another bit of crumb off. And what happens is that bit that growed initially would start to die off and die back. And then if you're lucky, you can get more bits to grow off it. But it's it's a worrying time, especially when you put so much time and effort into it. You're like, ah, oh, no, don't die off, don't. Well, um. like that branch. Let me put you on a tripod. So, oh, you little fucker. So this branch here, I don't think I want that on. Because I've got that coming down like that, and I've got that coming down. And then you've got these in the background from the top. So this part here, I don't want that. I know I'm going to get rid of that. I was going to keep it, but I don't like that. So that is coming out now. And after you've cut bits off, don't forget to um, get your cut paste out. Wherever I put that. over that wound and what that will do is that will hopefully stop it drying out and that branch dying because it would be a pity would that be a pity it would that's what we've got going on we've got all that going on which is good that is, this is old, it's starting to get old now this bit, and I like that, I've been wiring it so long, see that, that bend in it, this looks great, see that bend in it, it just looks great, see how I like this, I like how that is all starting to take shape now, it's like get wired down like that, you've got I'm going to have to go for hands free, I am. So we're going hands free ladies and gentlemen. And um, that is the cut I just had. I just put a bit of cut paste on that you see. But I didn't like that how that was. And now you'll get branches come off that side and that. That's all doing well. So that's, that's good. And then you've got your top bit. Well, these will get wired down. That will get wired down like that, so it so it actually shows all that bit. Oh yes. We got that branch there doing okay. That oh, this is another branch I think is going to die. Let's just close. So, do you see that colour go? I just have a feeling that branch is going to die. And probably the reason for that is because it doesn't get enough light in the summer when um when this is out in foliage when it's got all its all its foliage um the middle branches just don't get enough light the light can't penetrate through you see so unfortunately those branches that you do try to keep alive in the center um sadly die off. How can you rectify that gizzy? I don't know if you know. I'm still winging it. Well, I don't think I am winging it with this tree, this specimen. I think I know what I'm on about now. I've been doing it long enough. That isn't, yeah, I'm still having an iron about having that out. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, he's coming out. He's coming out right now. He's coming out. 
Let's get him off. Pow. He off. And um, what I'll do is I'll forget to... Um, I won't forget to cut paste that. Yeah, that looks better now. That looks better already. I like that. I think I like that. And next spring you'll get loads of little buds coming off here and it'll look a spectacular sight. Oh, uh, it would win awards. But it will have to be wired, so it won't look how it looks now. It will have a wire on, unfortunately, but that is that is the art of Bonza. Um, but yeah, we, we are getting there, but I did, the reason I did do the video is because I am losing branches and I think I will lose a fair few more, but hopefully it won't be any of the important ones that I don't want to lose because I would be devastated now. Although it does grow quick, I'll still be devastated. I'm still devastated. Now, I leave the moss on over the winter because what that does, as well, it's in such a small pot. Oh, it's a small pot, all right. That's how small it is. Um, that just helps with protection from the frost and the roots. So it's it's really nice to have a have a nice mossy bottom. That's what I always say. Oh, you've got a mossy bottom. Look at that, look at that, that's a bloody, bloody jungle. That would if I was to let it run wired. But, yeah. I think this tree is probably my favourite tree because of all the hours and time I spent with it. But this is another branch I'm a little worried about. See that bit? Oh, there you go. See, that looks like that's dying up to that point. This is better. I got a feeling all that will come off and that will die on that branch. I hope not. Right, YouTubers have just found an example of what I was going on about. This branch, it's where it's in the centre. It's dying. Okay, you've got some bits doing okay. But, um, that's dead. That's black. And then, so that branch, that, what, what the tree's telling me is, no, you don't want a bloody branch there because you get rid of that. That's too close to your to your inside branches. You don't want that. Get rid of that. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of that right now. Who's that one? See a little bit of light in this situation. So it was this one here, which with a tree, you probably wouldn't have that so close to that bark anyway, so we will get rid of him. Pow. That's that one out of the way. Good. Good. That's good. Got it done. Oi, we got that done. We got that done, you. And, uh, let's try and focus on this piece of shite. Yeah, not healthy, that one. Get rid of that. We don't want that, right? We don't want that.
There's that one really. Uh, it looks like some naked dirt I got rid of that. I don't need to, Gizzy, I know. I do. Yeah, let's do it. Ow. He's done it. He's done it. He's effing done it. Yeah, he's done it alright. Give that a bit of a bit of dab. A cut paste. Where's that other FR cut? There. Get more cut paste for that one. There we go. So that's that's that sorted. Yep, so that's that one cut out and all sorted. Down soon enough, and um, this is where I left the wire on. But too long. It is starting to um, to heal, I think, but only time will tell with them um, with that. But hopefully. Oh, I do apologise. Hopefully it will be fine. And it will, it will win awards one day. In my lifetime, hopefully. One day in my lifetime it will win awards. But you'll have to come back in the spring to see how effing amazing it looks. And just turn it around. And I think I'm going to start wrapping this up now. I think I've taken all the branches I want to take off for now. Anyway. Um, will it look... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Another example. See the discoloration there and there? That's what makes me think that will die. And you need to cut that. So it won't spread. Um, I will have to just watch it and see what happens. The ends look okay, but it's sort of a telltale sign, really. I sort of. Oh, but is it? See, that's got the yellow. See, you'd think I'd know after three bloody years, but um, no, no, I don't. But that probably will come off or die but we shall see we will have to just wait so um that's it that is all i'm going to take off for now i don't want to get too mad i just want to see what what will start dying off in the winter but um if you've enjoyed watching this and want to see more of my corkscrew willow that I'm making weep. Uh, three years old. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can see more of this beautiful, beautiful specimen in due course. I'll see you next time, YouTubers. Tell her for now. Gizzy Green Fingers. <laughs>